Hello everyone, today I'll be going through the week three methods quiz. So these three questions on probability and cool, let's start. So first of all, it tells us the random variable X has following probability distribution. And before we find the mean, median, and mode, we probably should um, find out what K is, right? So we know that this bottom, so this bottom part what equal to one when added. So this 15K in total, so 15K is equal to one, that means K is one or 15. And to get the mean, uh, to get the mean, we just use the exact, uh, expected value formula, one times one on 15 plus two times two on 15, et cetera, all the way at the end. And we should get 11 on three for our mean. Our median is when we uh where we see like 0 0.5 raising our uh like which value covers 0 0.5. So here we in other words, right, in, in here we can kind of also interpret it as seven and a half over 15k. So as we can kind of see here, four over here is where the value seven and a half k lies in lies in, and that's why four is our median. And mode, of course, is our most so basically, which one we have the most of, then in this case, five has the highest probability, so five is the mode. Cool, so question two. Again, we have to find out what the value of a first by summing in one, two, three, four, five at the end, and we get a is equal to 30. So this is the value we're summing, and we just make it equal to one. And, um, oh, actually, I think that's it for the question. So um, yeah, basically what the, if it says it's a probability distribution function, it just, basically indicates that it will add up to, so, the, so when we when we have the probability in here and we study all the values, they will add up to one. So yeah, A is 30 basically in this case. And finally for question three, we can just use, use some of our formulas here. Standard deviation of, uh, is um, 2.5, that means va variance is 2.5 squared. So variance of six X is just, don't forget we, it's square, it's squared of the term, the coefficient of x, so it's six times six, which is 36. That's why it's six, 36 times 2.5 squared. And var of two x plus three, that is just equal to var of, um, that, that's just equal to two squared var x, right? Because this three here doesn't actually do anything to our variance. And the reason because of that is, if you think about it, variation, variance is measuring like how, like the variation of our data. If we add three to every single point of our data, then the variation will be the same, right? Because there's still the same amount of part, it's just every dollar has been added three to it. And that's why we don't actually count uh, regardless of three here. Of course, this three really will make a difference if we're, if we're looking for the exact values and stuff. But yeah, in this case, it's just two squared times the variance, in other words, four times 2.5 squared. And finally, negative X kind of just can be the same as negative one times X, right? So our formula here just gives us one times 2.5 squared, in other words, 2.5 squared. Yeah, hopefully that's all good. If there's any questions, please let me know. Other than that, I'll see you next week.